So this game took me completely by surprise. It came out back on February 2nd, and I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't even on my radar. I didn't even know the name of it or anything like that. Over the past couple of weeks, I've seen little whispers of it, and finally this morning, I was like, all right, we're gonna dive into this. We're gonna see what this is about. I can't remember the last time I went from zero to 100% hype in like 30 minutes on a game. Like this looks incredible. I don't make bold claims like this often, but I genuinely think this could be the next big thing in the gaming space. And I think it's going to be one of the best series that we do on this channel this year. I'm so excited, dude. So I watched a couple of videos. I read a couple of like little tutorials and reviews and stuff. I didn't want to get too far into it so we could, you know, keep things fresh for this first episode. But it, it, it's, you know... It's a scavenging survival exploration game based in like Norse Viking mythology. It, it looks almost like a mix of Minecraft, Rust, and RuneScape. Like it, it just it it, it looks insane. I, I'm I'm so excited. Let's just go ahead and hop into it. We're just going to start up a game here. A couple of the reviews I, I read said that it was kind of a difficult game to start with. It doesn't really hold your hand and walk you through everything, so I'm excited to try to figure things out here. We're just going to go for it. We'll see what happens, and uh, here we go. Trevor, starting off here. So we've got a male. We've got skin tones we can change. Obviously, a boy can tend to be a little bit more on the pasty side. We've got hair. Ooh, braided hair, shorter hair. Oh, no, that's a braid in the back there interesting with that i kind of like that too now the thing is you can you can play this solo which we're going to be starting off with here but i know that there's also um i mean you could play with like up to eight to ten people wow that that's that's a tough viking man right there i'm thinking we have some sort of a ponytail or, or maybe maybe the long hair i kind of like the long hair we're gonna go with that we could have a beard as well whoa look at the oh yes absolutely so we can have different hair tones I'm going to go with a darker hair tone here, I think. Blondness you can change. Okay. I like this. And look at our glaring eyes there. All right. Character has been created. We've got our first little leather sack on. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and start it up. Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the bows that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily. But it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. For Odin. Let's do it. Are we spawning in on a Valk? Dude, no way. This is like the stork with the babies, but here, we're, it's a giant murderous bird with a warrior on her. Here we go. Coming in hot. Oh. Okay. So this, this is our world. I bring tidings. Talk to Hugin here. Welcome to the 10th world, warrior. I'm Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. So is that like our final boss or something? Oh, okay. Uh, the stone is a Veg Vizier. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin, his signpost pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekthivir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Okay. So this stone, I'm going to register his location. Obviously, you know, that's our first boss. We're not quite ready to, to take him on. There's there's definitely definitely no chance of that. And this looks this looks pretty intense. Um, okay. So we We've started. This this is it. You, you just get dropped off in the middle of the forest in a circle of stones. Ooh, a boar? Do I want to fight that boar? What are these things? Can I pick these up? Nope. Okay. I kind of want to go fight the boar. I heard boars were, were really useful. Gah! Oh! Straight up just, just punched him in the back of the head. Okay, what's... Is that sweat coming out of the back of us? I'm not sure what's going on. What are these things? Raspberries? I'm sure we're going to be able to eat those. So let me just go ahead and pick all these guys up. 
How do we bring up our inventory? Ooh, here. Here we go. Raspberries. How do we eat it? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. We're going to have to figure that out at some point. Your boy is definitely going to... Ooh. What is... What are you? Oh, this is our friend. Uh, a tasty morsel. You found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. I'm wondering if we move this here... I wonder if we could then hit eight and we're going to be able to... Yeah, you can't eat any more raspberries, though. Okay. Sweet. Appreciate your help, Mr. Raven friends. Ooh. Okay. Uh, take stock of your inventory. Most items uh, must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it'll all come back to you. Unless your brother Munin tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Okay, so we want to get wood and stone. I see wood on the ground over here. Can pick up branches and stones. Okay. Dude, this is sick. And I, I, I love that the art style is like, it's nice. It's nothing crazy. Ooh. What? It was shaking. I thought something was chasing us or something. So we could pick up all this wood. Can we punch tree? I think I think we can punch trees. You guys are also seeing we're, we're building up our, uh, you know, different skills and stuff. I think we're even working on our unarmed combat right now by punching this tree. It's the ultimate... Ultimate punching bag. But yeah, we can punch these things, be able to get wood. As we jump, we improve our jumping. As we sprint, we improve our, our sprinting. You know, that sort of thing. So it's just like, as you're doing things, you level them up. Which obviously is, is pretty useful. Bust through these trees. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? What the f fudge is that? Come at me, bro. Hey, I've been punching trees, homie. A grayling. Oh! Oh! What was that? We got resin and a, a new crafting recipe for a torch? Okay. Oh, all these dudes are coming out of the woodwork. Hold on, how do I craft? I'm assuming C? No? Is he gonna come up on us? He's coming up on us. Alright. Let's go, homie. Into the, into the, the ring you come from the top rope. You can't see me? Oh, our reach is not very good. Okay, so these guys give us resin. We're going to have to remember that. How do I... Crafting hammer club would be useful for, for fighting these guys. We can also do a torch. So I'm going to say let's craft a hammer. And let's craft a club. I'm going to put our hammer on three and our club on two. We've also got our torch there in case we need it. Dude, this is so sick. So there's our torch. There's our club. Here's our hammer. Looks like we've got our, our friend over here. What's up, Hugin? Uh, you've crafted the hammer with this tool. You will raise mighty halls, towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This will in turn enable you to construct other things. So do we... I'm wondering if we want to... Should we kind of head... Should we head more towards the water? I'm sneaking up on the deer. I got my club. Oh, shoot. We got a guy behind us. Ah! That's right. He's dead. Okay. Hit this other grayling here. What? What is a grayling? I have no clue what a grayling is, but we, we just killed him again. All right, we got some meat. Probably going to have to cook that to be able to eat it. But yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we head towards the water. This might be a really bad idea to venture out into the woods, if you want me to be honest. I just feel like making your base near the water makes sense, or do we want it next to our rocks? Let's We'll, we'll make it near the rocks, and then we, I mean, we got to make a bed so we can save, and so we don't, uh, you know... Die. I think you can respawn at your bed and stuff like that too. Okay, so we we want to craft the uh, we want to craft the, the workbench. How do we how do we do that? Ah, here we bring our hammer out. We can build a cooking station, a campfire, but we need stone for that. Furniture. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we need more wood. We need to collect wood and stone still. Okay. So we're, we're good to go. Let me let me put this away. Let's go collect wood and stone. That's going to be our biggest thing. Dude, our stamina is is awful. Homie, you need to you need to hit the treadmill a bit. If you're going to be a hunter gatherer out here, you need to you need to be able to move a bit more than that. Got an open field over here. Dude, this is beautiful. Another stone potentially. I think that might be too big. Dandelions. I don't think we're going to need those currently, but we'll take them. I mean, we could let me just, uh, let me just put this away and just, let me just fight this tree real quick. This is how we get wood, baby. 
Why are stones always the hardest thing to find in these games? The same thing with uh, Medieval Dynasty when we were, we were playing it. Ooh, found ourselves a nice little, nice little set of stones there. I guess they would be harder to find in nature than, than trees. Trees are, are abundant everywhere. Stones, you would have to find little loose stones on the ground. It makes sense, but it just definitely makes things harder. Ooh, here's some more over here. Okay, this, this was a nice little area for it. All right, so I'm, um... Hmm, what do you guys think? There was that nice little field over there we could build our, our little thing in, but we, we could just build it right here for now. Okay, so we're going to bring our, our thing back out. We're going to be able to craft this. Mystical force in this area stops you, so we're going to have to get away from it. I feel like this this is a pretty nice, nice area. We've got some rocks. We can see enemies coming from, from miles away. Ooh. Oh, shoot. This isn't live. Is, I, I thought I was playing by myself. Is this somebody else's house? Oh, man. Oh, this is making me a little bit nervous. Hello? Homie's got like a ghost face on there. Is that, oh, that's a that's a beehive. That's a beehive. We don't want to touch that. Hello? A chest? Feathers? I, I mean, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to take your stuff, all right? I, I, would, I would expect you to do the same. I don't, I don't know if it's an actual person or not. I have no, ooh, what, ooh. I just noticed the tree in the sky. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make it right here. I'm gonna make it right here, here we go. Probably shouldn't build something so close to this dude's house, but we're, we're gonna go for it, okay. So we've got this. What's our next step, Mr. Raven? Uh, workbench allows you to craft more complex items as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Sweet, appreciate that. All right, so now I think to be able to actually use the workbench, it needs a roof. So what we're gonna have to do here, is we are going to go ahead and um, we need to change up what we're making. We're going to look to build walls and roofs. So I believe we need walls like this. We'll place that like that. And then place this here. And then I think we need... This This was in my little tutorial. That's how I know how to do it. We need... Um, wood wall. No... We need the roof. Thatch roof, maybe? Build something like that. Does that count as a roof? I'm not sure. Station is too exposed. Okay, I, I think we might need another wall over on the side or something. We gotta go get, get some more wood. Let me go punch a tree real quick. Like that. Does it need, does it need more up top? I'm not really sure. It's too exposed. It might need a little bit more in terms of the roofing. If that's not enough, then I don't know what is. That better work. It's too exposed, bro. What? Place four wood walls in a U shape around the back and sides of the workbench. Okay. Shoot, dude. I, I, I bet there's some scary things, scary things out here. So we're, we've got wood walls here. U shape around the sides and back. I don't know if this... I mean, it could potentially be too exposed out here. Like the... The what's it called is wrong. The the ground. Let's see. Shoot. See, it's not let me. There it is. Okay. Boom. Okay, this this is already looking better. So we've got that. Uh, place two 45 degree thatched roofs, which is uh, oh, we need we need we need 45 tiles above the workbench. Snap to the back wall tiles and pointing up above you. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna move this. Like so. Boom. Oh, this is already looking so much nicer, Trev. Good job. Good job, buddy. So we've got that. Two 45-degree wood wall tiles above the two side walls. So they fill the gap between the walls and the roof. So now we're going to need to do this. Can I... Can I... Do? Oh, oh, baby. This looks nice. Okay. Bam. That's how you build, baby. Let's go. Let me use this real quick. Pain. Just, just pain. I'm getting a little scared out here, man. It's, it's getting to be nighttime. Can I, can I craft anything else? Can I craft anything else? Uh, I, I definitely, I want to, I want to craft like a bed. When, campfire. Oh, I keep hearing stuff behind me. Okay, so I'm going to build a little campfire right here. So we've got that guy. Then I know we could craft this. We're going to be able to, be able to put the meat over the campfire. So I'm going to put that there. And now we've got our cooking station, so we can we can cook items. Throw that on there. Adding fuel to the fire. Okay. So we're out of wood. We're gonna have to go get more, but at least that thing's cooking. Bro, what what do we do here? It's 
This thing is locked and loaded. It's not exposed at all. Now, the, the key thing is when you're cooking food, you have to listen. Ooh, it's done. It's done. All right. So we need, can I take these things off? There it is. So we've got cooked meat now that we're going to be able to eat in our inventory. I'm going to be honest. I don't really understand what's going on with this food stuff down here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put that in seven. Let's try eating it. Okay. I guess it's adding it over time. I, I, I don't understand how that thing works. Okay. It's, it's dark. You, you could eat another bite. Um, okay. So I guess we can, we can set it up. We could do another raspberry after that, and then maybe... Oh, you can't eat any more raspberries. So, over, you can, like, pre-set pre, pre set it up over time. I'm not sure. I guess we could we could do another drumstick. Nope, can't do that either. Okay. I'm, I'm confused on that end. Uh, it, it's nighttime. Can we... I mean... How, how do I craft the bed? Square up, bro. Come on. Square up, you stupid... You stupid... I, I want to be able to... Uh, so the thing is, we really need to get our workbench built, not only to be able to build a... I, I think you need it to build a bed. I'm not sure. But you also need it so you can repair your tools. So the nice thing is you can repair your tools at a workbench for free. There's like no... Oh, shoot. We feel we feel cold. We're going to have to go sit next to the campfire or something. What's up, man? You always kind of freak me out a little bit. And the temperature drops at night or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Okay. So the game is the game is just, just trying to screw me over here. But yeah, you don't use any materials to be able to repair your tools. So like our hammers and axes and whatever else, we can just go to the workbench and, and you know, repair them. But we need to be able to use the workbench first. So what I'm, I'm thinking... Gotta watch our stamina here. I'm gonna try to fully encapsulate the thing. I would imagine at one point we're gonna start to get a little bit hungry too, so we're gonna be careful about that. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, our, our unarmed skill is up to 15 now. So by punching trees, your boy is becoming Chuck Norris or something. All right, so we, we should have a decent amount of wood there. We've got 23 out of 50 wood that we can carry. So I'm gonna come back over here. Let me get our hammer back out. We're gonna go ahead and we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna build more walls. We get these guys set up like this. I'm thinking, I mean, you know, something, something just ridiculously covered. Ah, that worked. Just that. I don't even need the roof. It just wanted extra walls. I'm wondering, because we kind of have like an awkward hill here. I'm wondering if that's it. Dude, I keep, there's like a rustling in the sticks behind us and it keeps freaking me out. I'm going to have to have to stop. Stop freaking out at that. So we've got a, a workbench here. We can make an axe. So we're going to be able to chop down trees, club, hammer, hoe, torch. Looks like we can get some, you know, pants and stuff going. Shield, swords. Dude, this is so sick. We can upgrade here. Repaired our tunic. Repaired our hammer. Sweet. We needed the workbench and wood to be able to make a bed. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put a little, a little bed next to the fire and the workbench here. I mean, I guess... I don't really want it in the way, so we'll, we'll put it behind it. We'll just put it right there. And then obviously over time, and we can move the... Oh, whoa, you just scared me, dude. Okay, yep, no big deal. Just keep uh, f flying on my bed. No, no problem, bro. Uh, a head rest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It's good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Ooh... No. So he's saying that if we die, we can respawn back here and we can have more stuff left over. So we can we, we can claim this bed. The bed needs a roof. Of course it does. I kind of want to kill our fire. Are we going to be able to remake our fire though? Because I feel like it's kind of in the way. Okay, so we're, we're going to remake. We're going to make a fire here. Right out front. And eventually we can enclose this entire thing. Obviously we're going to want to make the food thing over top of it. So we're going to be able to get that there. But then we're gonna want um, we're gonna want to be able to make this bed. If we go to furniture, we need more wood now. We lost a little bit of wood in that. Okay, we're fine. Bro, I hate these little sons of guns. Just always coming at the most inopportune time, and they kind of scare me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I get that. All right, beautiful. Ideally, we should have. I mean, we could have made an axe. I kind of like the, the the you know strategy of improving our our unarmed combat as we're doing it but i would imagine over time we're probably going to have tons of weapons and bows and stuff like that that we won't really need to do unarmed combat but uh, we could have gotten an axe obviously that would have you know sped up our our process back there but we're going to be fine so let me uh let me come back over here we're going to go ahead and build the bed 
We're gonna get this guy right in there like that. Now, oop, oop, don't stand. Oh, okay, we're on fire. We're on fire, we're on fire. No, no. Now we're gonna wanna build walls. Let's go back to building, we're gonna build walls. So I'm thinking we kinda, do we just wanna do the same thing as what we did before? So that there and that there. We're gonna want the 45 degree. To snap him on in there. Now can we use it? We're into day two. Still haven't built ourselves a bed yet. Obviously that's that's gonna be ideal once we get it there, but we're we're out of out of wood again, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some wood. Good news is seems like food lasts a while. Like we, we really haven't gathered that much food yet and we're still looking pretty good. Uh also haven't really seen a need for sleep yet. I'm sure at some point that's gonna pop up, but for now we're looking looking all right. I also feel like the fire doesn't really run out of wood very quickly either. Okay, so I'm wondering, can we, let me go back. Let me, let me build a wall here. Make this look nice. Whoa, hey, come on, bro. Dude, just go on somewhere. Y'all are just annoying at this point. Can we just do a floor? Up top, is that gonna count as a roof? I really hope it does. That's gotta be a, oh my gosh, Trev. Okay, fire in front of the bed, not a good idea. Bed needs a freaking roof, bro, what? I'm doing some some remodeling here. We're gonna see if this if this works out. I really don't wanna lose our, our workbench though. So I'm trying to do something like that. Don't run into the fire, Trev. Can I hop up there? Get me on this, this log. Get me up here. Oh, oh, okay, it doesn't like me up here. Last one here, boom. Okay, now we're gonna want, uh, let's take this down. Then we're gonna want these guys. I think we're gonna want one like that, one like this, one like this, one like this. And then we're gonna be able to put these fellas in here like this. <gasps> yep. Oh, we ran out of wood. Okay, okay, let's go get some wood. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right like so. Am I gonna be able to claim this? Can I please? Bed is too exposed. Okay, so I think it legitimately, I, I think it wants us to just build a base here. I, I, I think that's that's what our, our, oh shoot, I don't wanna do that. I think we're just gonna have to build a base. Can we, can we build a door currently? We can build a door, okay. So I, I'm just, I'm gonna build up, I'm gonna straight up build a base. Let me craft this stone ax real quick. Are we gonna be able to chop down a tree like this? We're improving our wood cutting. I would imagine this is probably gonna take a really long time. I, oh, that's some, oh, oh! Are these all sticks? That's that's a big log, okay. So I'm assuming we're gonna be able to be able to crank that log into some sticks here. Is that the idea? I wonder if after after seeing us do this, I really I wonder if we could have just used the house that had the chest in it. I I, I wonder if that we could have just okay got ten wood out of that. That's solid. I I wonder if we could have just you know placed a bed and a campfire and a workbench inside the house that's that's literally right next door. Then again, I, again, I, I, I'm not sure, is is this live? Like, do, are there other players out there? I know if I go to somewhere, we can turn PVP damage on and off over here. So I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, obviously I'm gonna keep PVP damage off for right now while we're trying to learn this game and try to, try to you know, figure everything out. But that could, oh. If you knock one tree down into another tree, it causes a catastrophe tree. Sorry, you could eat another bite. That's a nice way of saying you're hungry, bro. Hurry up and hurry up and eat. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in there. So we should have plenty of wood. I'm gonna come back. We've got our wood walls, so we're gonna be able to set up some walls. I actually I kind of wanted to put a door here just to see how that works. It's kind of hard to get things to snap. So we got a door there, then we're gonna go with a wall. Now this ground is not even. I mean, we're, we're just we're just kind of playing it by ear here, fellas. So we've got those there. I'm in our house. We're gonna be able to, uh, to start putting these roofs on. Oh, we don't want this roof, we want the steeper one. So we're gonna go with that and that. Wham, bam. Trev, come on, dude. That 
We need to build a block around the fire, I guess, so this idiot doesn't set them on fire. Okay. Here we go. We try to get this in like this. Boom, boom. Now we're going to want to come in. We're going to want to do the same thing. We're going to set this guy up. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to be able to do our two walls. Dude, this is so cool. I can't believe we made this. Let's go. All right. That's that. So we got a nice little door. We can open and close. I mean, eventually maybe put some windows and stuff in. But uh, all right. We're resting. We're inside our little house. We're resting. We still have access to our workbench. We've set our spawn point. And we are good to go, friends. Shoot. How? A hoe, maybe. Let me see. Let me let me try it. Hoe. Let me craft this hoe real quick. All right. You feel rested. Comfort level four. So I'm going to say let's... Uh, let's level the ground. Missing a requirement. We need stone. How are we going to get stone? Do, can we make a pickaxe, potentially? Stone axe. I don't... I, I'm going to... I'm going to... Repair our rag tunic club hammer. Dude, that's so nice. You can repair all that stuff without actually, actually using any of your resources. I don't see... It kind of sucks we have to jump to lead that. I don't see there's... there's. Oh, hello. I would like a pickaxe to be able to hit on these guys. You've crafted a hoe. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it's the perfect complement to the hammer. Used to clear ground and manipulate terrain. It's easy to create buildings on level ground. Yep. Uh, we've already, already made our building, Mr. Bird. So unfortunately, we messed up there. But I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna finish off this log. We're gonna collect some stones and hopefully be able to finish this thing strong. Got him. Kinda sad, but got him. Got his meat. Deer trophy collected. We've got a big buck over here. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. I also, oop. Oh, what? We started running all of a sudden. I'm not sure what that was about. I'm going to pick up all these raspberries that we can. This is nice, man. We're, we're starting to learn to live off the land. Finding stones is still the hardest part of our job. There's no doubt about that. How far do these guys run when they run? Is it worth chasing? I don't think it's worth chasing. Like I said, we're not really hurting on food. I mean, water isn't really that diff... I mean, it's not difficult to come by because we haven't even ha seen a need for it, which is nice. So, I, I don't know, dude. Like, it... It kind of feels like the survival aspect is important, but not as important as other survival games. Obviously, the focus is a little bit more on PvP. Um, and that's that's kind of cool. It, it encourages you to explore and be a little bit more aggressive than you normally would because you're not stuck at home. Oop. You're not stuck at home just trying to just try to stay alive. So they're downwind from us, which is good, but we're kind of in front of him. I don't know how tall this grass is. Dude, that is just brutal. Got hogs over here. I've heard hog leather is really, really good, so I'm gonna try to take this fight. That's two. What's up, fellas? Got all of them. Okay. We took a little bit of damage there. I mean, if it, if it was a, a larger pack than that, we would have been in trouble, but... We got them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all that. We've got another thing over here. Runestone. Okay, not sure what that means. I'm, I'm gonna go back to my bed. We definitely need to figure out some sort of a pickaxe situation, though. Because finding stones like this is not... Uh, we should probably put this away. I think things slow down as slow you down as you hold them. Finding finding stones like this is, is not very efficient. But we should be able to use our hoe now. Handy dandy hoe. Everyone needs a nice one of those. So let me go ahead. I'm going to say flatten the ground. Is that... Can we walk through that now? We can walk through it now. Okay. Maybe, maybe raise the ground here a bit. In here. Okay, this is... Kind of an interesting way to... It's taking a lot of stone, but now at least we can walk straight in our house and there's no, like, big gaping hole in it. Dude, look at us! Look at us! Can you believe it? Who would have thought? Who would have thought we would have been out here surviving and thriving? Obviously, at some point, we're going to have to, um, you know, make... 
I feel like we're missing a lot of stuff. Like, how do we, do I just get the hammer out and do it? How do we make, like, I guess it'd be under furniture, make a chest. So we could put a chest back here behind our bed. Looks like we might want to raise the ground a little bit there before we do that. But yeah, we can, you know, kind of put things in our chest and whatever else. And uh, just kind of keep keep on doing our thing. Dude, this, this is amazing. We killed it. We did really well. I'm excited. I think this is a good spot to end it for our first episode. We'll see what kind of crazy journeys we go on next. I just want to thank you guys for being here. I think this is going to be a great game. I'm really excited for this. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and you want to see this be a full series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.